So I get that you are exercising is what 
Okay. Okay. I get that. No, it is not strong at all. It is not good. Just that. But, mm -mm. I, I don't want to watch the movie. But if we get Jesus, I might watch it. I don't know because I really don't want to look at what motherfuckers say. Hey, Ellen, uh, I'm not crazy. Is it you? But no, uh, I'm just reacting to the news about nightmares being gotten in the ring. Which, hey, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, man, it's not moving. No, 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 okay, okay, this, this, I think it's just time that we are living in right now, um, we can make a movie in a little of the night, okay, so that, that is good for Apple and good for everybody else. God. What? What does not the nails keep that nails? In it seems with to to run stuff like you know a lot of us were like kids we we want to do our own thing and not follow the rules and he comes in with a sledgehammer and, and says we're going to do this we're going to do that and this is how it's going to be but yeah you know and he, got, he got a lot a lot of stuff done he made people get their uh, citizenships he made people you know, do the things that they're supposed to do, you know? And nobody liked it. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes change. It's better than the president we have now. Uh -oh. Okay, Biden just 
said that it's okay for abortions. He signed a lot of paperwork. Well, it, it was a bit of what if it wasn't Well, he wasn't perfect. No one's perfect. No, and he's a perfect example of not being perfect. But, None of us are perfect. But what if he got raped and he got raped up and he didn't want to keep the great baby? Is it okay to abort it because it was a great baby? do I don't know why honestly my opinion you know I mean I think it's a woman's decision either way but it is not illegal to get an abortion it's not illegal uh, what if it was not legal to get if it wasn't legal, uh -huh, legal? Uh -huh. well, I think that they have a certain, um, I think there's a certain underwritten, uh, under circumstances that you would have to qualify. What? You know? Well, like, like you said, rape, um, se mm. incest, yeah, yeah. Uh, abuse, uh -huh. um, you know, um, in trafficking situations, yeah, yeah. Um, things like that, uh -huh. you know, where it has to be reported. And so uh -huh. forth. Yeah, I mean, then you would have to be able to. I mean, you have the option under those guidelines, obviously. And or if it's gonna uh, put yourself and the child at risk, things like that, pregnancy, and mental health. Mm -hmm. If the female is mentally uh, capable. capable, not capable, but. Um, mm. You know, if she's a drug addict and, and just uh, uh, going through, she's uh, going to hurt uh, the child. Or uh, if she is disabled. I think there's certain guidelines. What if she is disabled? Well, I'm not in that situation, but I mean, um, it would, um, 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 I mean, like, I mean, it's not a form of, of child, ch um, child, uh, what do you call it, uh, birth control, of course. You know, that's what they're, you know, considering. Uh -huh. But um, I still believe that it is a woman's right and it shouldn't be taken yeah. away. So. Honestly. And I think Trump wanted to take that right away. Yeah. But I think, he, I'm pretty sure that they would have put in guidelines. In but that is why Biden does it. But then again, I don't know what the Bible says and stuff like that. So, and I don't want to be, you know, against that type of thing. Yeah. Well, same thing as, um, you know, it's the same thing as um, I don't, I don't believe in same-sex marriages. 
or same sex activity. And I don't <laughs> believe I don't believe in putting it in a classroom. I don't believe in Agnes. you know having them Agnes. teach that. Agnes. Maybe, but I don't but I don't want it to be like it's a norm because it's not a norm. It's not a normal thing. It's I think it's a a a, 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 a person's uh, want or a person's um, um, you know what they want to do as a freedom of, but I don't think it's considered to be a normal thing. What? Okay. What? Well, normally, you know, you want to keep to the basics. I mean, of the principles of the values that we have. But, you know what I'm saying, but then you start to twist things around. It kind of, you know, I'm just worried about confusion of children. You know, I don't think that they should be confused. But when they become of age or a little bit older, then they can kind of see the contrast of, of life. But, for the better of being spiritually sound you know can you imagine a world that's more spiritually sound in your heart good people more good people more good people more of a positive what does it say it says show all the IPs from China that got detected by cyber experts during the election when they changed votes. No. I, don't I don't know about China, no. but I did hear, I read a couple of things about China. No. And no. they're killing babies, killing the females, and only keeping the males no. in their society. No. It's really messed up. I think China needs, needs a lot of work, and it's scary. And I don't think we should do business with them. <laughs> but that's my opinion because it's so wrong I think we should use other countries to um, to able them like Africa and all those other countries that need you know aid and so forth we could rather have them run all those companies for low and stuff like they use China instead of using China use that and I think China got mad because President Trump stopped trying to use them which is good. Finally, mm -hmm. there's a change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think President Trump was a good president. He was a great asshole. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it needs you need mm -hmm. to be an asshole. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then that you know that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. But I'm open mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. about the disabled but I think that they still need to be protected and I also believe that um, mental health issues is a big issue mm -hmm. and I really need um, they really need to focus on that right now because uh, personally speaking I'm taking care of um, my ex mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I broke up with him I'm not with him anymore I moved on and have a relationship with someone but I have two kids with him and he grew up in a lifestyle with drug and alcohol and smoking and playing with you know drugs a little right so what happened is he had an accident because he was under the influence and someone hit him while he was on the bike caused him to be in the hospital mm -hmm. so he's in the hospital and he kicked the um, the uh, alcoholism mm -hmm. the drug and everything because he couldn't be that way in the hospital so he kicked it he couldn't do that on his own so with that saying, my kids told me that he has a second chance in life. 
I mean, it took that to get a second chance for him. So when the, his family tried to get him, they wanted to give him alcohol. They threw him out of his house. Literally coming out of the hospital, his sister wanted to throw him out the house. They called me to come pick him up afterward, 9 p.m., throwing him out. Oh. I had no choice but to pick him up. He was my responsibility. And mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do with him. I had mm -hmm. I, I didn't want the responsibility, but it was my kids, and I did it for my kids. And then when I tried to place him in a in a home, now this is where I'm getting at. I wanted to place him in a home where he could be taken mm -hmm. care of. But mm -hmm. the problem is this: they say that he is an adult, mm -hmm. so they can't stop him from drinking, smoking, or doing any of those habits mm -hmm. because of some certain rights. But I think that mental health you need help because they there's certain situations where you can't have that decision i mean you can have the decision cody because you're mm. mentally sound mm. but those are the people that that mm. you know have yeah because there's nothing wrong with you you can make those decisions <laughs> right <laughs> but him he lost he lost memory uh current memory so he keeps his, his long-term memory right so he lost his his um his long term his short term memory uh -huh. a little bit, and I'm working with him on that. But the point is this: I have to take care of him now. Uh -huh. And if I don't take care of him, uh -huh. if I don't, he will go back to that lifestyle and die. Uh -huh. So this is where I'm at a crossroads where it's not my responsibility. I don't want it, but then it's humanity in me uh -huh. that I don't want him to be in the street and die. Uh -huh. That's why I, I'm involved with the human, of the, um, what do you call that? That situation of uh, mental health. You know what I'm saying? If it hadn't been on my lap like this, I probably wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. And look, he's, he's doing good and my kids are happy. They're doing good in school, you know? His gifted program and everything. Like doing stuff like this, I don't allow my kids do, but I'm at work <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm doing this. My kids will just die right now. <laughs> so there's like, you know, there's like people need medicine, you know, so every situation is different, you know what I mean? I do believe in, um, in America still having our, our um, rights, you know, like the love for our country, the freedom. Yeah, my freedom.
So, um, what is, what is about what you do in the um, please let me know, uh, what you think about all of this and what you um, Get you permission to what you said. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah. Um, get you all. Um, uh, <coughs> I'm not coming up. Mm-hmm. 